one of the most studied and most predictive job attitudes is job satisfaction. It can be defined as a positive attitude about one's job that is based on their evaluation of a variety of characteristics or aspects of that job. There are multiple ways to measure job satisfaction, but there are two approaches that seem to be the most popular. The single global rating approach is a response to just one question, such as, all things considered, how satisfied are you with your job? People would then select a response between zero and four, one and five, one and seven, on a scale from highly dissatisfied to highly satisfied. The second approach is the summation of job facets. It's a bit more sophisticated. It identifies the key elements of a job, such as the nature of the job tasks, the supervisors, the pay, the promotion opportunities, relationships with coworkers. Each one of these elements is then evaluated and sometimes a single score is created or sometimes we look at each individual score. One of the reasons that job satisfaction is so important to the work that an organizational psychologist does is because of its predictive power. This particular attitude tends to be correlated statistically with many other attitudes and behaviors, job-related behaviors. Things like performance, productivity, quality, quantity, commitment, absenteeism, tardiness, turnover. Some of the other job attitudes that we'll learn about later in this lecture are not as predictive. They may be correlated with only a few behaviors. Here is an example of how we might measure job satisfaction. We might ask the following questions. I am satisfied with my salary or pay. People would then respond on this scale from zero to four, zero being strongly disagree, four being strongly agree. I am satisfied with my workload. I feel secure about my job. I get along with my supervisors. My talents and skills are used in my role. In the next part of this lecture, we'll cover the antecedents and consequences of job satisfaction.